Hello, 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 and today we're going to go with album number 23, and we'll start with where we finished last time with Mongolia. So these are the remaining ones, mostly the earlier stuff uh, with one or two others that I bought along the way. And from then we go to a country that doesn't have many banknotes because it basically only existed for a brief period of time uh, after the First World War. And then when it became independent nowadays, Montenegro does, issue, does use euros and does not issue its own banknotes. They do have like, I think, 10 or so. I got these. Some The early ones or the lower values are uncirculated, the other ones not. Then we go into Morocco. Unfortunately, I don't have much from Morocco. They, they, have, they do have beautiful banknotes. The earlier ones, I only have yeah, the last three or four series, I think. Um, yeah, so that part is complete. Uh, earlier stuff, which is the most beautiful stuff I don't have. And from there, we go into Mozambique. Um, Mozambique has these banknotes, which were from BNU. Uh, so basically the colonies bank from Portugal. Um, these are in very sh shitty state, says Lorenzo Marques, which is the capital nowadays Maputo. So these are between 10 and 20 centavos. That was like one tenth of a school. And here a few others. So these are hard and expensive to find in better condition. Although these are really in shitty condition. I could get better. Um, and from then we go, these are the, after the independence, they had some overprints uh, from the old colonial banknotes. And then we go into the early stuff which is mostly relatively cheap and easy to find some nice ones to be honest this series is particularly interesting contrary to the ones with someone on Michelle these ones uh, which are yeah I wouldn't say ugly I think the back is pretty nice with the animals but it's not the nicest bank notes and then I have this one which is from the company of Mozambique this is probably, you've seen this everywhere in this cheap banknote stuff. Uh, yeah. Some stuff that I got recently. And we go into another country which is extremely cheap to collect, uh, Myanmar. Um, the series is not ugly. But, and this, like I said, it's a very nice starting point for someone starting new. Because these banknotes are nice and they are very affordable. Even the most expensive ones I think this one with the elephant it's still cheap and these ones are the newer banknotes I think I have Myanmar complete to be honest um, not 100% sure but I need to look at my my list then from there we go into Namibia another country that I'm trying to finish soon I was missing a couple of them again not the nicest banknotes uh, they are one to one with the rand the South African rand I do have some rated, yeah. So maybe let's go with the M. So I have this Morocco one graded Legacy. Not that I like Legacy so much, uh, but actually a beautiful banknote, pick 21. Let's go there. And then I had some others from, like I said, I'm trying to finish Namibia, but I'm not, I didn't have much more space, but here are a few others that will go into the album. There's also the 4C <clears throat> NPMG 66, and here's the back. Some of you asked for to show always the back, the graded ones. And then again, here in Namibia, the newest 200, or the newest version of the 200, big 15C. And here's the back. So we'll continue and then um yeah then we'll see yeah let's let's continue and then i'll show the rest of the great ones we'll continue with nepal here there's this series here where there's one or two valleys which are very hard to find after that is relatively smooth sailing it's not that everything is very cheap but uh it's not like the most difficult country to to finish for sure quality in terms of for me, some of them are nice, others are, yeah, 
bit bland, a bit repetitive. I like the mountain ones and not so much the ones here with the king, which I guess it's now the posed. Um, you have some weird, in the middle, some polymers. This thousand is actually very beautiful, especially the back. And they have a similar back here. This one's the thousands. So a lot of banknotes from, from Nepal. They do issue quite a lot. Or they did that. Yeah, I like this one with the thing here to hide the watermark from the king. It's also beautiful, the one with the tigers. And though we go all the way, the ones with the mountains already after the revolution. And then some other ones, also this one hiding again, the watermark. And we go all the way till these ones are the latest ones. Yes. And then I also got another thousand here. And uh, yeah, so these are two that I was actually missing. And I have this also one graded, the big 75 with a mountain. Again, here, the elephant in the back. Since we are going to the Netherlands, the only graded one that I have from the country is this, the big 59 PMG 64. Netherlands is a country that I have very little of. I also don't find the banknotes that attractive either. Some early stuff, but you see there's not of not a lot of early stuff. It's mostly the new things, and even that it's like lacking even a lot of values. From there we go into the Netherlands and Teals. These I actually only had the first two, but then I was there and I got the series, the 10, the 25, the 50, and the 100. I was in Aruba. Um, or in course I'm sorry. And these I got recently. From there we go into the New, New Zealand. New Zealand um, here with the Queen. I don't have the earlier stuff. I'm bidding actually on one of those. One with the Moor King. And then we go into the Polymers. The newest banknotes, the 50 and that one commemorative and this one and then i have the latest hundred beautiful back and i do have this one the hundred dollars from <clears throat> pick 175 again amazing back so that's it for this album see you next time bye bye